Ask Reddit by, deleted. What's a life hack that's so simple yet so effective? You're shocked more people don't know about it. When looking at recipes online, click the print link. This cuts out the unnecessary backstory and random musings. You can also save the recipe as a PDF to your computer or even just the link to the printable version. You mean to tell me after 20 years of having to read how this lasagna came to be after women, including the names ages locations of 20 of them, all decided to get together at one huge party, the year was 1942. Spring, almost, and the Robins had just came back from, that I could have skipped all that. All that? Shut the front door. I deserve to be sent straight to jail for not knowing this. Create a routine for before exercise. I do the exact same things every time I go to the gym. When I'm not motivated, those little pre-workout habits just trigger me into action. Habit stacking. If you get something that comes with a unique charger power cable, label it with what it's for. Adam Savage does this on his YouTube channel. Has a bin or two of random DC chargers in his workshop and each one is marked, typically in silver paint pen, with what it originally came with. Another awesome tip from Adam that my ADHD ass uses regularly is this. I need to find a thing, I own this thing, but I don't know where it is. Look for it in the first place. Look for it in another place. Repeat until I find it. Okay, that's all obvious enough. Here's the brilliant part, when I finally find the damn thing, instead of trying to remember where it was I found it, just move it to the first place I looked. Always write down momentarily good ideas. Don't lean on your memory. One time I was tripping on acid and had this incredible epiphany that was going to unite the whole world and solve all conflicts and bring everybody to a place of empathy and peace and I furiously wrote it down so I wouldn't forget and a few hours later finally fell asleep. I woke up the next morning and looked over at the memo pad next to my bed and saw a half crumpled note written in frenzied, scribbled handwriting that said you know you were here yes that's what you think but that's what you think. Ladies and gentlemen. The secret to everything. Write shit down. Yes, I have so many people tell me oh you're so good at remembering things no I write it down, set an alarm, or create a reminder in the moment because I know I'm not going to remember and this helps. To increase your peace of mind don't waste your time arguing with random strangers on internet. No, you're wrong about that. If you are making coffee in an automatic drip coffee maker, especially a cheap one, leaving a little bit of water in the carafe, about an ounce or so, will significantly improve the flavor. It prevents the first bit of brewed coffee from becoming scorched from the hot plate and flavoring the entire pot. I always do this in hotels. My maker at home only starts the hot plate about 3 minutes into the brew, and it's just a Mr. Coffee drip machine. Store cans of baked beans upside down so you don't have to scrape them out the bottom when you open the can. Or open them upside down. If ordering something online, since places can fake a good review, only read the negative reviews, a bunch of complaining about shipping damaged items trivial shit is good, whereas multiple broke in the first week won't charge leaks means the product is shit. Yup, I read the first few top reviews. Then head over to the 2 star reviews to get a more realistic perspective. From working technical support for longer than I dare think about, most angry customers just want to be heard. Let them have their rant, do active listening, and make notes about what they're saying. They will eventually run out of steam. Then, read back everything they talked about and go through it step by step. Works almost every time, and often they are very thankful by the end of the call. Another tip, instead of asking the customer if something's plugged in ask them to check if the plug's prongs are corroded. After they check they'll unconsciously plug it back in. My grandmother always said that if you feel terrible, get out of bed, take a shower, do your hair and put on clothes, down to your shoes, 
and have a good meal. Either this will fix it or you're dressed and fed and in a better place to deal with the problem. She was right. When I have a shitty night, crying that night, couldn't sleep etc, and I have to do something the next morning, I take the time to put extra thought in my look that day. I don't usually wear makeup but I will do a daytime look. I'll put something on that makes me feel cute and I'll add one of my fancy jewelry pieces. Taking care to do things that make me feel good about my appearance tends to help me get through the day a bit better after a rough night. Hack 1. When you paint a room and remove the light switch plate, on the inside of the plate write down the color of the paint you used and the brand. Great for when you need to repaint a spot a couple of years later. Hack 2. After you wash and dry a set of sheets, put the top sheet, bottom sheet and pillowcase all inside of one of the pillowcases. Then you have the whole set together in one neat little package and don't have to look for matching sheets and pillowcases. While you have the switch cover off, write down the circuit breaker number. If you're putting together furniture, leave all the screws a little loose. Finish the whole thing. Place it where it's going to be. Wiggle it so it settles into place. Then tighten all the bolts. No wobble. Adding to this, if your furniture comes with an assembly tool tape it to the bottom of the furniture once you are done assembling it. If anything needs tightening adjusting in the future the tool will always be right there. If you want a comfortable pair of high heels, invest in a pair of dance heels. Lots of beautiful designs and colors, designed to be flexible and comfortable. Worth every penny. Just make sure they're not felt sold if you plan on wearing them outdoors. A good quality pair from a company like Repetto are worth getting rubber sold if they aren't already. Your feet will thank you. Eater, so glad some of you found this helpful. My mother has permanent foot deformation from wearing heels daily since 1977 and my discovery of wearing dance heels was born out of my desire to look elegant but avoid pain and disfigurement. This is especially good advice for brides looking for wedding shoes. Future you always do things throughout the day that will benefit future you. Future me hates current me at all times. I am extremely organized except where my keys were concerned. I lost them several times a week. Then I saw the comedian John Richardson saying that people with keys are putters leave as I was a lever, leaving my keys lying around so I decided to be a putter. As soon as I get in I put my keys straight into my bag. It seems so stupid but it totally works and has saved me a lot of stress. My mantra is away, not down especially good when I'm in my ADHD moments. Take the advice you find on the internet with a grain of salt. I'm skeptical of your advice. Going to bed at a consistent time to get enough sleep, really prioritizing it. It literally makes life so much better and easier. Health improvements in every aspect, both mental and physical. People live their lives chronically underslept and it causes all types of chaos in their lives. They think it's freedom to stay up late or go to bed whenever they want, usually covering up a cycle of revenge bedtime procrastination, but they are unbeknownst to themselves in an underslept zombie prison of their own making. I got no sleep last night BTW. Feel like crap. I have this vicious cycle of feeling exhausted all day. Then once I put the kids to bed and I leave it it's around 8.30pm and I'm wide awake. I'm literally exhausted all day it drives me insane. Percentages are reversible. Working out 4% of 50 will give you the same result as 50% of 4. This is great, except I'll probably forget it whenever the time comes to have to do some quick math. Spend an hour finding something in your house. When you are done with it put it in the first place you looked. Also, if you can't find something, start tidying up. You'll find it just as fast, but you won't be frustrated and if you can't find it at least the place will be tidy. Never gossip no matter how much you dislike a person. 
it can be really helpful in particular at work when that person you dislike and you consider to be dumber to actually save your ass in certain situation rather than have him her as your rival. I keep receiving gossips from various colleagues about others and always pretend to never know anything while I know lots of details and I agree with many of these sometimes. This is really helpful in your career being neutral and have people not being against you. Further, a view speaker of someone behind their backs, your audience will wonder, even subconsciously, whether or not you talk about them behind their backs. Conversely, speaking positively about people behind their backs will do wonders for your social and professional life in general. Try positivity, people. If you work at a PC all day, turn the night light on constantly, I have it set to turn on at 4am and off at 3am. Makes a huge difference in iced rain. After you get used to it other screens feel like looking at the sun. I set up one of my colleagues PCs the same and a week later she told me she had stopped getting headaches every day at 1pm, which she had even been going to the opticians for. I also do this with my phone. Dark mode and low brightness for life. But I also have sensitive eyes. Buy a bunch of the same style and color socks and you never have to match socks again. I have a drawer with just socks, and every time I reach in and grab two, I have a pair of matching socks. Game changer. I bought all black matching socks, but now they're all various shades of black and it makes my brain twitch in annoyance. Sick of losing socks in the laundry? Wash them in one of those mesh garment bags. I never lose them and it's so much easier to put them away when you're only sorting through them out of the bag than across the whole pile of shirts and whatever else out of the dryer. But what happens when the bag of socks goes missing? Then you have no socks. Casseroles provide far more servings with far less cost and effort of many other dishes. My husband's family never made casseroles but they are the only thing I really knew how to cook when we got together. So I'd always make one and bring it to family events. Everyone thinks I spend hours upon hours in the kitchen making dishes but really I basically just evenly mix the ingredients across a casserole dish and throw it in the oven. Really won my mother-in-law over when she wasn't sure about me at first lol.